Well, Bloomberg's Adam Johnson is at the BMO Metals and Mining Conference in Hollywood, Florida. He joins us now with Richard Atkerson, the president and CEO of Freeport McMoran Copper and Gold, for an exclusive interview. Adam, take it away. Hey, thanks, Betty. That's right. Only here on Bloomberg. Richard, we're so happy you're here. Thank you for joining us. Now, you run the world's largest copper mining company. Copper's making new all-time highs. It's the perfect storm, but does it kind of scare you a little bit? No, it doesn't scare me at all. It's, uh, you know, uh, we, uh, we recognize that the world was going to need copper. Still feel very strong, good about the demand in the long run. And supply is challenged in our industry, so we had positioned our company in terms of the, uh, the assets that we've put together and the way we manage our cost structure to take advantage of times like this. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't hedge at all, do you? No, we've had a long-term policy of, of, uh, of, of setting up our assets in a way that we have, a, we, we have good overall grades, uh, we have a good cost structure, and so we give uh, investors exposure to the commodities markets and and you know that's been a good call so far. Now what are you doing to minimize your costs? First of all it starts with ore bodies. We, uh, we, we develop ore bodies that, uh, that, that, are, that are profitable and then uh, uh, as a commodities business uh, we put in a strong culture within all of our operations and our administration functions to try to drive costs down. Now, your sales are going up 25%, so are your earnings, which means you're not getting any margin expansion. What are you going to do about that? We have tremendous margins. We have tremendous margins. Our cash costs are in the range of a dollar a pound for copper, and copper selling today at close to 450. Uh, uh, this, this next year, at, uh, if, if copper were to average 425, we'd have over $8 billion of operating cash flows with only 200 two and a half billion dollars of CapEx. So we, we have very strong margins and a very profitable business. Now, uh, Phelps Dodge, you did that acquisition back in 07, made you the world's largest mining company. Are you still reaping benefits from that? Absolutely. Uh, we have tremendous growth opportunities off, uh, in mines uh, in the U.S. and in South America. The mines in the U.S., most of which are over 100 years old and have lower grades than, than the mines we have, the mine we have in Indonesia, for example, but they're very large uh, uh, systems of ore. And we've, uh, since the acquisition, increased the drilling that we've done to understand the geology uh, more. We're doing uh, metallurgical work. We're doing uh, studies of how to develop these reserves. And it's a great opportunity. We see the chance to invest significantly in the U.S. And adding jobs and also adding profitable operations in the U.S. Now you mentioned the U.S. 30 percent of your your mining is in the U.S. 70 percent is outside. So how do you grow the U.S. business in light of all the regulations right now? One of the benefits we have is that we're expanding existing mines and there are challenges with that in terms of getting permits and approvals but those challenges are much less severe than they would be if you were developing a new mine. So we benefit from the fact that we have this ore of, of real significance. We've, we, we, we've increased our, our reserves, our proved and probable reserves to 120 billion pounds of copper. We have uh, that amount or more of contained ore in our existing mines. So it's, it, it, it's, it's the opportunity now, to grow. Let me ask you, we only have about 30 seconds. You're the biggest producer. China's the biggest consumer. Describe your relationship. We, uh, we, we're expanding our business in China. It drives our markets. Historically, we have not uh, uh, we, we've, we've had sales in Asia to other countries, but we're expanding our business there and, and we have great relationships with customers and with other companies in China. Richard Atkinson, uh, CEO of uh, Freeport Macron, thank you for joining us, Betty. We'll be back all day with several other CEOs and comments from the biggest mining conference in the country.